What is this like a, this must be like a lefty subreddit, huh? Destiny hates the idea of non-white population growth and thinks that their population being decreased is a good thing. This argument boils my blood so much. First of all, it fails to understand what genocide is. Second of all, it seems, it almost seems like they are offended by the increased in Palestinian population. I don't understand how people could see arguments like this and see anything other than white supremacy. 369 upvotes. He's literally Islamophobic. What does Islamophobia have to do with brown people or non-white population and white supremacy? This just says population growth, nothing about birth rates. Population can also go up as people are sequestered and concentrated in a single area by an oppressive force. It's like seeing that the number of prisoners in Nazi death camps near the end of the Nazi regime is higher than the number of prisoners at the very beginning of the regime and being like, wow, a pretty ineffective death camp. They somehow have more prisoners than what they started with. Do you think there were more or less people in the death camps by the end of the genociding of the Holocaust? Slaves, po slave populations increased in the US over time, therefore, well, wait, yeah. I would never say the United States was not genociding slaves when we enslaved them. That, I would agree with that, correct. The slave population was increasing, we weren't genociding them, no. <laughs> it was slavery. Why would you genocide your slaves? <laughs> like, what, what? <clears throat> Destiny's both Islamophobic and anti-Semitic, making the most balanced observer. True. Have you read what Lemkin argued for? Provide some context to understand what is meant by destroy, at least from his perspective. Uh, I have not. What, but what he means by destroying Israel? The definition convention of the prevention and punishment of the crime of genocide. I like how he, I like how he bolds so much of this, but he misses the most important part in whole or in part. Killing members of the group, causing seriously bodily or mentally harm, deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. It's the intent. <laughs> That is the most important part of the genocide. I don't know if you can unintentionally genocide people. The whole point of why it's the worst crime ever is because you're intentionally trying to destroy an entire group of people. It's the intent part. He didn't even highlight that. <laughs> Ethnic cleansing is just a bland euphemism for genocide. I think ethnic cleansing can mean just like deporting a bunch of people from an area, but I don't think that would be considered genocide. That'd be like, that'd be considered ethnic cleansing. Is deliberate meaningfully different than intent? Well, yes, because for instance, I could go and I could, I could deliberately kill five black people, but there's a difference between deliberately killing five black people and deliberately killing them with the intention of deleting their ethnicity from my continent, right? That's different. It's the intention to destroy, uh, I think it's ethnic, uh, national, or I think it applies to religious groups as well, to intentionally, the intentional, um, yeah. What, if any, relevance do you think the international convention definition of genocide and apartheid definitions have for the colloquial use of these terms in political conversations? It's just annoying because, like, people throw them around as, like, a, they're, like, thought terminating. Like, you can't have, like, what do we do about, you know, um, Hamas, or what do we do about Israel, or what do we do about, you know, the Palestinians? Like, well, they're a genocidal apartheid um, state. And it's like, well, okay. Like, as soon as somebody's dropped, like, the G word, you're, like, done with the conversation, you know? Destiny, ethnic cleansing is never acceptable? Hmm. I don't know if that's true. I think I think you would have to approach that with a lot more. I think you'd. I think I think it would depend on the circumstances. It would probably yeah. Um, fuck. I had more details about. Or I wish I remembered as much about um, Yugoslavia and the dissolution of that country. Um, was related to like Serbian people genociding stuff, right? So, fuck, I don't want to. I don't want to dig too, I, I don't want to give as, I'm using this as like an outline for what I'm saying, but I don't want to base it completely on that because I don't have like as much information about that conflict as I should to make strong statements on it. But like, hypothetically, um, Carl Durgo, $20, thanks. Hypothetically, let's say that there are two warring nations and one of the people in one of the nations, we'll say the Serbians, is trying to genocide um, another group of people. Bosnians, Bosniaks, right? Let's say that at some point we do split up these countries or now they're two separate countries because of the attempted genocide. If one of the countries is like, listen, you guys try to genocide us, we're gonna expel all the Serbians from our state because, <laughs> because they tried to genocide us. That would be considered like an ethnic cleansing. But would that be bad? Um, I mean, I'm not sure. I think it would be, I think it would be complicated.
I don't think that you can just very clearly say, the problem is ethnic cleansing sounds like you're genociding people, but expelling certain groups of people from areas if they're trying to murder people, I don't know, I'm not sure. That's why I'm saying, yeah, that's why I'm not saying that like, just calling it ethnic cleansing bad, I don't know if that's always necessarily the take, I don't know. Um, I just made that post about the Suez Canal summary. Thank you for everything that we over it. I grew up in Egypt and I have a good idea of how people there feel about the wars and Israel. If you ever want that point of view, please let me know. Thanks. Gotcha. Destiny. Expelling the settlers from the West Bank would be an ethnic cleansing technically. Sure. Or the, well, not technically, but absolutely. So like when Israel formed as a nation in 48, that the... Um, expelling of some 700,000 plus Arabs from their villages and lands, that was undeniably a, a, an ethnic cleansing, right? They were pushing all of those people out of the lands that they'd now drawn borders on. Um, but then the question is like, well, if all those people are trying to kill you or, or are working with people to kill you, is it justified? Um, I'm not sure. I wish I knew. I'm sure if I had like a better bank in my head of like um, historical conflict I'm sure there are times where we could think of like, it's probably good to expel a certain type of person if they're trying to kill all of your people. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. I have to think about it more. Or I, 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 maybe there'll be like a conflict that I can, you know. I haven't been here for the whole research James Destiny. Did those 700,000 Arabs leave or were they pushed out by Israel? Um, I think it was, uh, I think it was a combination of a lot of them left because they didn't want to get killed or they thought they were going to be killed. And then a lot of them left because I think the majority of them left because I think, um, was it the IDF then or the Haganah and the Ir? There's two other names. Um, I think it's because Israel was just pushing them out. They were like, leave, you need to leave now. So like, I, I think most of them were forced out and there were probably a good couple hundred thousand or hundred thousand that left because they were worried they would get killed. So, but I mean, it's effectively the same thing, like leaving because you think somebody's going to kill you versus like them forcing you out. Is, I mean, it's at the end of the day, you're being pushed out by somebody else, right? Yeah, but then also, um, in, in 48, once Arab nations started to do pogroms and discrimination and, you know, massacres against Jews in all of their countries, you could argue that the Jewish, Jewish diaspora was also a form of ethnic cleansing of Jewish people from a whole bunch of Arab nations as well, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Serbia started a genocide because a drunk farm stuck a glass bottle up his butt and then it broke. He lied and said Albanians did it. I'm guessing if somebody's genociding a group of people, it's probably gonna take, their tensions were probably already high if it was that easy to start <laughs> that behavior. Destiny, splitting of India and Pakistan involved ethnic cleansing, maybe, okay. Norm's ghost, I agree, although I do think Destiny is an ideological leaning and isn't 100% objective. It happens to be the one I agree, well, I mean like, what? I don't know what it means to be 100% objective. Uh, I obviously have an ideological leaning, like I'm very pro-liberalism and pro like democracy in general, probably more pro-West. So like given an, a completely even set of facts, even if I try to be 100% objective, I'm probably gonna end up falling a bit on the side of the like more democratic peoples, in which case it's probably the Jewish people versus like Arab people, right? But I mean, I, I try to take an accounting of all the facts, obviously, I, I mean, I try to, I'm not, but I'm not perfect. Um, and, and, and I also, I do have like my own cultural preferences Right, of course. Um, can you give a historical example of an ethnic cleansing that wasn't a genocide? Um, yeah, I can, but it's gonna like trigger the f out of people. Um, but like, I would say arguably, like the Trail of Tears in the United States, that was for sure an ethnic cleansing. But I think it was like 25% of the natives that walked the Trail of Tears ended up dying probably wasn't a genocide. I think if we wanted to kill them all or force them all to die, probably would have gotten a way higher score. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of um, relocations of Germans after World War II. I don't know. I don't know anything about relocations of Germans after World War II. I'm not sure. Then you don't think the Armenian genocide was a genocide? My understanding is that for the Armenian genocide, I thought it was like 70% of the people that were marched were killed. And it was like over a million or like 1.2 to 1.4 million people died during the Armenian marches. Wasn't it like a massive, what percentage constitutes genocide? I mean, like, it's not really a percentage that constitutes genocide. It's like, what's the intention of the march, right? I'm pretty sure for the Armenian genocide, like the goal was to have most of these people die. Remember, genocide is intentional. Uh, that's like a really important part. I'm curious though of like, they also, and they also like forcibly converted. And I think uh, a lot of the women and kidnapped a lot of the children and everything too, and forcibly converted them like, yeah. Um, mm. 
What was the Armenian population before and after the Armenian genocide? I'm super curious. It also wasn't just the march. They also straight up killed them the old fashioned way in lots of places. Yeah. Although for the Trail of Tears, they might've done that as well. I'm not really sure. Trail of Tears, I don't know as much about. The relocation peoples suffered from exposure, disease and starvation while en route to the newly designated Indian reserve. Thousands died from disease before reaching their destination shortly after. Some historians said that the event constituted genocide, although this label has been rejected by others and remains a matter of debate. Okay, it's not brought up in the interest, so I feel like that, problem, that probably wasn't as big a part of it, but... Um, the problem is that ethnic cleansing is often done under the explicit or implicit threat of genocide. Sure. The, the real problem is that, like, arguing over these topics is, um, is just, like, it's very exhausting and boring. Because when people are throwing around, like, genocide or ethnic cleansing, like, you don't actually give a f if it's, like, genocide or ethnic cleansing. You just want people to say it's genocide because you think it's really bad. And then if I come out and I say, like, well, I don't know if it was genocide or ethnic cleansing. I can still agree it was really bad. But since I'm saying, like, I'm not sure if it was genocide, all you're hearing me say is, actually, it was okay. I think it was totally fine that happened. So, like, the whole conversation devolves into, like, people getting in their feelings. And they just want you to use, like, the worst the worst word possible to describe a certain thing. And then nobody's actually thinking about like, like what any of it means. It's just kind of like, yeah, I don't know, I think it's boring. A petition signed by Serbian intellectuals asserted that the case of Dordi Martinovic, I can't pronounce this, has become that of the entire Serb nation in Kosovo. Is it a state, is it a genocide if state authorities do not want them to die during a forced march, but don't mind if they do anyway? No, the, remember, or at least it used to be, who knows, maybe Canada will cuck all of us and change this. Genocide is intentional, okay? Genocide is with the intent to destroy a whole groups of people, right? 